Hi everyone and welcome. Firstly, I just want to apologize for this video getting to you a little late in the day. Usually I like to do my favorite SPF videos in May time, early June to push. I am well aware that we're almost in August. So please accept my apologies. We have been testing out so many different sunscreens. Over 20 new sunscreens have been tested and we've also gone back on all our previous sunscreens that we tested out way back when and gone through all those again to collate all the information together to then pick our four favorites. Narrowed it down to four. We are going to be doing our favorite chemical sunscreen, favorite mineral sunscreen, favorite Korean sunscreen, and favorite affordable sunscreen. I'm not quite sure how we've been able to do this. My mum wanted to be here to pass on her comments. We haven't been able to get together at the same time. So I do have her information and I will be passing on her favorites at the end of this video. So definitely stay tuned for that. All of the SPFs that we've been testing and I will put a shot of them all on the screen for you now so you can see which ones we've tested and which ones we haven't. They all have an SPF protection factor of at least 30 which is what I always recommend that you use on a daily basis. Rain or shine, cloud cover or full sun. They all have broad spectrum protection meaning that they will protect you against UVB and UVA damage. They feel comfortable on the skin and they see it beautifully under makeup. I haven't had any pilling with our top four picks. So just a little bit of info on how we narrowed down all of those SPFs to our top four picks. There were several SPFs that had a very similar feel on the skin, similar consistency, similar ingredients, similar protection factor. When we've been faced with that scenario and we really couldn't pick our ultimate favorite, we went for the most affordable because if you can get your sun cream for a fraction of the cost without compromising on protection, why would you not? So that is a little bit of an insight on how we got to where we're going to, if that makes sense. Let's get on with it. So I just want to touch on lip protection for just a second before I jump into my top four picks. Lip protection is incredibly important. This is an area that is prime for sun damage and it's an area that we often forget to apply cream to and even if we have applied cream, it washes off very, very quickly with eating and drinking. So it's incredibly important to keep it topped up throughout the day. My favorite product is from Beauty Pie. This is the Super Healthy Skin Nourishing Lip Balm and it has an SPF of of 30 in here. I've tested out a lot of lip SPFs. They usually come in gloss form and I don't always want a shiny lip, especially if I don't have any other makeup on my face. I just think it looks a little strange sometimes. I often don't want a tinted SPF lip balm either. So this is my favorite because it's clear and you can apply this over your normal lipstick if you want and your lipstick looks exactly the same. The only difference will be it will have a slightly more satin finish to it. So if you've got a matte lipstick, and you apply this over the top, it is gonna have a slightly more satin sheen. It's no longer going to be matte. So one thing to bear in mind, but I really like this. It's very comfortable on the lips. It's very, very easy to top up throughout the day. My daughter has one of these. I have three or four. I have one in my car, one by my chair. I have one by my bed, one in my handbag. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a great, great product. Um, and now I have one on my counter. <laughs> Let's jump into my favorite affordable sunscreen. This is not the sunscreen that I reach for on a daily basis. I'm not going to lie to you. This is the best affordable alternative to the other three products that feature in this video that I could find. It is a lovely, lovely product but I prefer the other three that are about to come up. So I just wanted to be completely transparent with you. This is a great sunscreen. If you do not want to compromise on protection, you want something that sits really beautifully under makeup, that feels comfortable on the skin, but is affordable, this is your gal. This is from Garnier Ambre Solaire and it's the Anti-Dryness Super UV. I have spoken about this on my channel before because it is superb. It is slightly thicker in consistency than the other three products that I'm going to mention today. But still, as long as you've got a little bit of extra time in between applying your sun cream 
and applying your makeup, you should be absolutely fine because this does take a little bit longer to sink into the skin, but again, it is excellent protection. This is a chemical sunscreen. The chemical filters that feature in this sunscreen are homosalate, ethyl hexyl salicylate, avabenzone, octocrylene, Uvenal T, Tinosorb S, and Mexoril XL. This does contain alcohol. I am not scared in the slightest of that, but if you don't like alcohol in your products at all, if your skin is super sensitive, you may want to try a different one. It is fragrance-free, however, which is a bonus for me. This is non-greasy, but it's also not humidity, sweat, or water resistant. So if you do live in a high humid climate, or you are going to be in and out of a pool, this may not be the best one for you. Definitely reapplication throughout the day will be key with this one if that is your situation. Let's move on to my favorite Korean sunscreen. I am a huge fan of Korean sunscreens, but I know a lot of people don't trust them anymore after the whole Purito disaster a couple of years ago. If you're not aware of that situation, Purito had a best-selling sun cream that was a factor 50 plus with a PA rating of plus, 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 and then an independent lab got hold of it, tested it, and found out that at best it had a factor 20 in there. So it was removed from the market and reformulated. It has been completely reformulated and verified now, so that product is now available again, but a lot of people fell out of love with Korean sunscreens because of that scenario, but I still love them. I wore this next sunscreen to a car boot sale a couple of weeks ago when it was stiflingly hot and incredibly sunny here in the UK. I am usually a vampire. I do not go out in the sun if I can help it. I big hat, sunglasses, plastered in SPF and sit in the shade if I can possibly do that. It was out of my control on this day. It was really sunny, couldn't get out of the heat, couldn't get out of the sun, wore this all day, kept reapplying it, did not burn one bit. And not only that, when reapplying this, it brings your temperature down a bit because it's so cooling and calming on the skin. I Love it. This is from Isntree and it's the Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. This is non-oily, super lightweight. It feels really hydrating on the skin. Factor 50 plus, again, with a PA rating of plus, 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 plus. This goes on more like a cream. So as you can see, it is a white cream, but once you start massaging it into the skin, it really loosens off and it's more like a gel-like moisture moisturizer. It does take a little bit longer to sink into the skin, but once it's sank in, it gives you that lovely dewy glow. It's just gorgeous. Feels really cooling, feels really calming, feels really hydrating. I just love it. This is alcohol-free, fragrance-free, essential oil-free. It's got centella, sodium hyaluronate, niacinamide, glycerin, and ceramides in there for an added bonus of those lovely skincare ingredients. This is a chemical sunscreen. So the chemical filters in here are ethyl hexyl salicylate, uh, homosalate, tinosorb S, tinosorb M, polysilicone 15, and uvenal A. No white cast whatsoever and it's just lovely. Again, this is not water resistant, sweat resistant, humidity resistant. So this is my top pick for those winter months. This is the one that I will be wearing all the way through winter. And this has been verified by two independent labs. So uh, yeah, just love it. Absolutely love it. Let's move on to my favorite mineral sunscreen. Now I've never made it a secret that I've not been the biggest fan of mineral sunscreens in the past because I have really quite dry skin and every time I've used a mineral sunscreen, it might've been okay for a day or two, but then I get really dry skin. It can get very flaky and it just tends to dry out my my skin even more. And I just wasn't willing to put my skin through that, especially as we have some amazing chemical filters 
in the UK that are approved that I could use without all that happening. So not the biggest fan of mineral SPFs until now. I finally found my mineral SPF. And although it only has an SPF of 30 in here, I'm willing to give it the benefit of the doubt because it is that good. So this is the one that I would steer you towards if you have serious skin sensitivities, if you have rosacea, or if you have acne, because this is the one that's going to be least problematic for you. And the main ingredient, in fact, the only SPF ingredient in here is zinc oxide. And zinc oxide in itself is really cooling and calming and it's an anti-inflammatory. So again, the least problematic of all of them if you have real issues with skin sensitivity. This is from Summer Fridays and it's the Shade Drops Mineral Milk Sunscreen. Again, this has an SPF of 30 in here and you get 50 mils. This is slightly tinted, I'm assuming, to disguise the white cast because zinc oxide is usually the main culprit for white casts in all sunscreen sunscreens and uh, for me this doesn't have a white cast at all but please take that with a pinch of salt I do have relatively fair skin and I can't attest to that on deeper skin tones if you've tried this and you do have a deeper skin tone do let everybody know how you got on with the white cast is there one is there not one is it relatively low please let everybody know so this is extremely milky it's also very very lightweight on the skin it's got vitamin E squalane glycerin urea and lots of other antioxidants in there as well. It sinks into the skin effortlessly and looks very similar on the back of my hand to all of the chemical SPFs that I've tried out in this video today. Just really beautiful. I'm assuming it's the squalane within the formula that stops my skin from drying out. But even though it does have squalane in the formula, although it doesn't feel like other mineral SPFs that are mattifying on the skin, so quite drying. This doesn't feel oily on my skin either, and there is no issue with it sinking into the skin. It just leaves a little bit of a sheen on the surface, which I really, really like. If you are after a mineral SPF that is mattifying, this isn't going to be the one for you, but it's my favourite, hands down, my favourite mineral SPF. Another reason why this is amazing for those of you with sensitivities, no fragrance, no essential oils, no alcohol. I mean, what is not to like other than I wish it was an SPF 50 in here rather than 30. But I think if it was a 50, the formula would be changed dramatically and I probably wouldn't like it. So maybe it's a good thing that it's SPF 30. Still really good protection though. Moving on to my favourite sunscreen. Of course it's a chemical sunscreen. This is just out of this world and it's the one that I reach for on a daily basis because it has all of the benefits of all of the other sunscreens that I've featured in this video. It's lightweight, it sinks into the skin really beautifully, it's a lovely consistency, it's got great protection, broad spectrum of course, but this is the ultimate in skin protection. This is the best protection out of all of the other sunscreens. So UVA rays penetrate the skin at different depths. So some of them penetrate the top surface of the skin, others go a little deeper. Some of them go really deep into the skin and very few sunscreens protect against those really ultra deep UVA rays. This one does, which is why this is my ultimate favourite and is also my mum's ultimate favourite as well. Although this is a relatively new option for her, she cannot get enough and it's the one that she reaches for every single day. So this is from La Roche-Posay and it's the Anthelios UV Moon 400. It's got a factor 50 plus with ultra long UVA filter protection, which is seriously innovative. This is the one that is also water and sweat and humidity resistant. So if you do live in that humid climate, if you like going to the gym with your sun protection on and you don't want to reapply after the gym, this is the one. I would still recommend that you reapply after the gym, especially if you've been toweling yourself down. But if you really don't like doing that, this is the one that I would point you towards. It is 
lovely. It's a really nice serum milky consistency and it's very, very runny. So as you can see, oof, very, very loose consistency, sinks into the skin effortlessly. It does have a slight oily slip on the surface, but that is soon to dissipate. So it doesn't last all the way through the day with it being slightly oily. It sinks in beautifully and just gives you a little bit of a dewy glow on the surface. This has got anti-eye stinging ingredients in there as well, so completely safe to use around the eye area. It's non-perfumed, but it does contain alcohol. And again, this does not worry me in the slightest. The protection outweighs the negatives for the alcohol ingredients within this formula. I absolutely adore it. It is just unbelievable. Again, no white cast to this. Like I said, this is a chemical SPF. The chemical filters that are in here, ethyl hexyl salicylate, Tinosorb S, Juvenal T, Avabenzone, Juvenal A, Mexoral XL, Mexoral XS, and the most innovative filter is one that I am not even going to try and pronounce because it is super long. Oh, go on, let's go for it for giggles. Methoxypropylamino, Cyclohexenilidine, Ethoxyethylcyanoacetate. Go me. I will write it on the bottom of the screen just in case you couldn't decipher all of that. But that is the revolutionary sunscreen filter that is going to protect you for those really deep UVA rays just out of this world. So that's it for this video. They are our top four sunscreens of 2022 and they are all amazing and I'm not quite sure why I'm surprised that my mom and I agree on the top spot because we've been doing quite well recently but both in love with the La Roche-Posay Anthelios UV Moon 400 but we'll be quite happy using any of the four sunscreens that feature in this video because they are all superb and we've tested a lot. Don't forget to share your favorite sunscreen options in the comment section below. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a like, click on that subscribe button and also the notification bell and hope to see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.